On this episode of Throwdown, crisp up, it's a taste of England with Matt Arnfield and his award-winning fish and chips. Let's cook some fish and chips, then! Yeah! Matt thinks he's been chosen to appear on a Food Network special called Pub Grub. This is Pub Grub. This is what it's all about. He has no idea that I'll be making an appearance of my own. I'm using my secret weapon. We'll go fish to fish and chip to chip. Kind of like crazy. But could a late showing? We're just waiting for that guy over there. This is a disaster. Mean my final curtain call? We'll accept his public apology on television. The catch of the day? A throwdown. My name is Bobby Flay. My mission? To find the best of the best. My objective? Perfecting their signature dish. The plan of attack? I'm showing up to challenge them, but they don't know it. I may win. I might even lose. It's anybody's game. It's the ultimate throwdown. Fish and chips. Crispy, crunchy, succulent, and salty. Fish and chips, those are the first things I think of. All right, here he is, Matt Arnfield, the king of fish and chips. I'll make you the best fish and chips outside of England. By the way, don't call them French fries. To the Brits, they're chips, period. Fries come from Belgium, and they were took over by the French. I eat French fries. In England, we have chips. Matt's fish and chips have gotten glowing reviews on both sides of the Atlantic. He has been featured in Time Out, CitySearch.com, and Food Network. Voted best fish and chips in New York Magazine. Do you want it battered and fried? This is the place to go. Why is Matt the best? The batter. I'd say without a doubt, the Assault and Battery does the best fish and chips in America. Your mission is to fry up your own American version of this British classic. Turn the tide in your favor and try to reel in a winner. All right, Matt Arnfield, batter up. I've been frying in uh, New York for about six years now, and this street down in the West Village is turning into a little bit of Little England. Greenwich Avenue has become New York City's go-to spot for all things English, from pint-pouring pubs to imported tea and chocolate. Brits come here to find all the comforts of their native home without having to cross the pond. There's lots of Brits in this area, and it's a perfect location for a salt and battery. And nothing says home more than authentic fish and chips. This is as close as it comes to home with fish and chips. This is excellent. The most famous place in the city, well known, and fish is very fresh, so definitely we'll be coming back very soon. Matt brought his expertise over from England, where he already had a lifetime of practice. My father got a fish and chip shop when he retired as an engineer. I've been able to cook fish and chips as soon as I was tall enough to fit over the fryers. Now he uses those techniques to fry up the perfect fish and chips. I cook it the same way that my father taught me how to cook it. Nice light batter, not too thick, not too thin. Really good fresh codfish, top quality potatoes, good quality oil, salt and vinegar, and that's it. And he serves plenty of them. Down at the Salt and Battery, we uh, serve about 200 pounds of chips a day. We'll do 80 or 90 pounds of cod. Well, welcome to my local. This is Fiddlesticks. Let's go for a pint. We convinced Matt that his popular fish and chips have earned him a spot on a Food Network special called Pub Grub. Fish and chips is the original Pub Grub, and this is where you get it. We also told him that he'd be preparing his specialty for a crowd at the Chelsea Brewing Company for his final scene. We're going to invite some people, have some fish and chips, have a couple of beers. It's going to be fantastic. It's the ultimate setting for a pub party, or a throwdown. Before diving into my own version of fish and chips, I need to get some pointers. And who better to describe England's national dish than players of one of England's national sports? Gotham Knights rugby players, Toby Butterfield, Joe Rice, and Ryan Horsnail. I know you guys are uh, not only expert rugby players, but also expert fish and chips eaters. Is that true? 
Probably not extinct, so. Okay, okay. When you're craving fish and chips, like, what are you thinking about? Like, what's the texture like? What's the fish like? What are the chips like? You know, talk to me about well, that. It's the batter. It or doesn't crispy. have to be too thick, it just has to be crispy. Crispy. And the fries should be fairly thick, not like French fries. Definitely not, not like definitely French fries. Thick. Fish and chips, it's more like steak fries, though. They're bigger and chunkier. So what do you drink with it? Ale. Ale, OK. And a pint or? Lots of pints. Lots Sweet. of pints? It's traditionally, a, it's traditionally a Friday evening meal. So you've always got the Saturday off. So it's not necessary to go short on the drinks. I appreciate the tips. No Thank problem. you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You too. Good luck. Appreciate it. My competition is a fish and chips prodigy. I've been cooking fish and chips since I was nine years old. And things aren't quite adding up for me in the kitchen. I'm just going to do it by eye. You need precise measurements. It's not like baking. It is like baking. No, it's but... not. A good assistant is hard to come by. I'm tired of losing a throwdown. Then you better step up to the plate. Send your resumes to throwdown. <laughs>